Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette that you guys voted for to see in a review. The majority of the people wanted to see this palette reviewed, so here it is on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going into it, giving you swatches on the swatch model, of course, so expect an appearance from him. I'm going to be applying all of these eyeshadows to my face to create a look, as I always do, as always and per usual, and of course, a Team Truth style review and a verdict at the end. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos so you don't miss any of them. Cause um, you know, I make these videos for you and I don't want you to miss them. I don't want you to miss out. Okay, let's get right into it. Huda Beauty, Rose Quartz, Palette, Review, Swatches, and a look. Here we come. Okay, so my voice is still like a little bit, you know, missing in action. It's there, but it's not fully here, you know? So excuse, excuse. But anyway, let's jump right into this palette. Looks really, really pretty. I've already taken a look at it. And if you notice, I'm wearing a lilac shirt with it because although this is rose quartz, to me, this is very lilac-y, very lavender shades. And I like that a lot more personally than like a rose color combo because we already have rosy tones from Huda. Number one, we have the new nude palette that to me gives us plenty of nudie and rosy tones to work with. And comparing these two side by side, you can see that they are very different. The new nude has like a few more peachy shades and a few more wine shades. It's definitely leaning a little bit more brownie rosy as opposed to the Rose Quartz palette. So what do you think? Similar but different, right? That's what I'm thinking. And then comparing the Rose Quartz to the Naughty Nude. Now these are two totally different color combos altogether. This one is very much chocolatey, has some wine tones as well, but not as light and not as ethereal and airy as the Rose Quartz. Anyways, no one asked, but I just thought some of you would like to know. Moving right along. The Rose Quartz palette actually has a collection that it comes with, but this is a $67 palette. It's available on Sephora, on hudabeauty.com. There are 18 shades. There's that uh, really cool, unique jelly shade in the center here. It's called Love Stone. Looks like it's got some sparkles in it, some bronzy, and also some opalescent looking beads that when swirled together can create a unique combo. I don't know how you guys feel about this one. It's also very similar to the highlighter that comes with the Rose Quartz palette that I actually don't have in front of me right now. I don't know where things go in this room, but they definitely disappear more often than they should. It could be my cats or it could also be the swatch model. Hmm. Speaking of the swatch model, let's get into these swatches before we get into anything else. All right, so from the top, we are going to start with this shade here called... Is there a name? There is. Oh, I can't see it. Quartz. You get an old swatch model? No. Quartz, there is not enough contrast. Here we go. Here is the first shade, Quartz. Very lovely, like a shimmery nude, I would say. I like that. Next. Aurora. Aura. <laughs> to be confused with. Aurora. Aurora. Why do we always say that in every video? I don't know. Aurora is gonna get, Aura, excuse me, is going to get a double dip for me. Okay, next up. Is Gratitude. It's pretty, no? Yeah. Is Cosmic Love. Okay, so Cosmic Love looks like a swirly shade, so I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl my entire pinky, but it's one of those that you can customize depending on where you swirl and how you pick up the shade. Really stunning. That's pretty. I love these. Empowered. Oh, this one feels really cushiony, kind of creamy. Wow, I love that. Nice. Beautiful with cosmic love, right? Yeah, really nice. Oh, the shimmery shades are just something. Joy. Joy is next. Similar formulation, kind of cushiony, kind of creamy, kind of nice to the touch, you know? Pretty. 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 How much is it? $67. Mm, a lot of shades. A lot of shades, 18 shades. Precious. Precious. How many shades? 18. Hmm. It's a little thin. A little lackluster there. It's the swatch. A, it's a little thin. But the color is nice. Energized. Energized like the bunny. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's that nice. is energizing. Wow, look at that. Wow. That's like duotone. 
So pretty. That I might love. be my favorite color. I love this one. Gorgeous on the finger too. So much pigment left over. Wow, wow, wow. So the next one is that jelly shade and it's called... Love Stone. Love Stone, ooh. What's it feel like? A little bumpy. <laughs> Do you feel stones? I feel some stones, yeah. It's very smooth. It reminds me of Haladiets. Excuse me? You know, like frozen jelly, clear grease that- Russians eat? That Russians eat, yeah. That's what it looks like. First of all, you're making it sound like it's disgusting. It's not, it's a delicacy and it's amazing, especially when you eat it with horseradish. It's not good. You save that to yourself. How's the eyeshadow? Eyeshadow's nice. Eyeshadow is nice. So is chicken jelly. Okay, this is not good. Here we go. Okay, so the mattes uh, upon swatches, I'm feeling like they're just a little thin, like you said. Just like not enough drag, not enough emollients for the drag. But I have a feeling that they might actually apply well. Blissful. Not too blissful. I mean, this is going to be good. I know it's going to be good. I can tell. Wow. I can tell. These metallic shades are exquisite. Kind of like a party palette. A little bit, but like in very wearable tones, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that you wouldn't see it automatically, but I do think it's fall friendly. Really? Like right here. <laughs> the first three. Yeah, yeah. Like if you go out for a fall night, like, you know? Yeah. This one is called happiness. Love and happiness. Damn, I can't even sing. So sad. This yeah, is like yes. a little orchid shade, like little dusty rose quartz shade, you know? <laughs> Mantra. Mantra? Yep. They call it mantra. <laughs> you say your mantras every day. How come you say mantra? Mantra. Because they're mantras. They're for you. There we go. There's mantra. Serenity. That's, I like that color. It's nice. Again, has this like lilac -y vibe to yeah, it. it does. Ambience. Abundance. I can't see. Oh, wow. Moon magic. Ooh, this one feels like sandpaper a bit. Really? Yeah. Wow. Definitely doesn't swatch like sandpaper though. Wow. I mean, these are looking nice on a night out. Look at that reflection. I think so. I mean, they make the eyes just notice me. For cougars? For, no. <laughs> no. Okay, inside joke. If you want to know, watch our review on the Jaguar palette, aka the cougar palette. Also by Huda Beauty, by the way. All right, two last ones. I think I'm going to swatch them here because I clearly ran out of space. Radiant. Radiate is next. Let's go here. <laughs> I'm just messing up these names. Yeah, but they're kind of very light. It's really hard to see them. And the last one is self-love. Swirly shade, swirling it up, a little forward, boom. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. That's hot. Alexa, what's 67 divided by 18? 67 divided by 18 is approximately 3.7222. So it's 3.7222 per pen. There you go. Thanks, Alexa. All right, so swatches wise, I think this did pretty well. Not too bad. Definitely the shimmery shade swatched a lot better than the matte shades, but that happens a lot. That's to be expected. Doesn't mean that they won't apply well. I actually already have my lids primed, and today I use the Rare Beauty Primer that I find to be a little bit more smoothing on the lids than the Fenty Beauty Primer, though not as gripping, but it's still a really nice one. So I've already applied it. I've already kind of created this like very sharp edge underneath my brows because that one does have a little bit of color. I am prepped and ready to apply these shadows to my lids. Let's go. So I'm thinking I want to do a look that could be wearable for the day or for every day and then also kind of amp it up for night. Let's start with something easy and simple. I'm gonna grab this eye crease brush from Laura Mercier, dip into this shade called Gratitude. As always, I must mention that Huda Beauty's palettes usually contain a large mirror that you can use for the palette. So even though the palette is pretty sturdy, it's pretty hefty in terms of weight, I'm gonna attempt to actually use it for the mirror as well. I mean, that's what kind of makes it like a really handy travel palette. Yeah, like I thought, the matte eyeshadows, though not super emollient in terms of drag, they definitely apply very well and you can easily build up the eyeshadow. It sticks to your primer and it is very, very layerable. So right now I'm just adding the shade Gratitude in my eye socket and concentrating most of the color on the outer portion. And just to create like a shadowed look. Just kind of going forth and back, small circular motions to diffuse it in the edges, and then patting and tapping motions to build up the color. Easy and nice. Also going to add a little bit right here underneath the brow bone, though not too much. Next, I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush, a pencil brush, precision crease from Motives, dip into Aura, which is the slightly darker browny shade. Just kind of extend that outer edge add like a little bit of a shadow here, lifting this corner 
and just darkening it, creating a bit of a gradient. Nothing too crazy though. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and just clean up underneath because I definitely do want this angle to be pointing up as opposed to straight out or down. So just using this clean brush to kind of diffuse and lift everything up. Next up, I'm gonna grab a flat brush. This one is from Mario. I'm gonna reach for this pale pink shade Cherished. This is another matte shade. I'm gonna add that to the inner corner tear duct and kind of just highlight and surround this whole area with this shade. I'm gonna just use my pinky here to tap it out. I like using shades like this to bring a lot of light here to this inner portion. And it's dainty. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and add that to the brow arch and just clean up this area here and kind of just connect. I'm telling you, Rose Quartz is probably like a better, more marketable name for this palette, but to me, this screams Lilac Love. And I love that because I find that lilac shades, lavender shades are just a little bit more universal. They work on more skin tones, they work on more eye colors, and they're just a little bit more enhancing and more interesting in my opinion than rosy tones. So to me, this is gonna be my lilac rose quartz palette. All right, so for this day look that I'm creating, I'm gonna reach for one more shade and it's gonna be this shade here called Self Love. This one's like a white slash pearly slash champagne-y shade that I think would go really great in the inner portion of the lid. I'm gonna just slap that right across with my finger, concentrating most of the color in the inner portion, just like that. Very, very fresh, kind of wintry almost, but nice, really, really easy. And the last but not least shade for this daytime look is going to be Quartz. This one reminded me of a very shimmery nude or like a pale bronzy shade. I'm gonna add that to the outer portion of my lid and meet with the previous shade, kind of just overlap it in the center to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, when I said that was the last shade, I lied. Changed my mind, I'm gonna use one more shade. I'm gonna reach for Mantra, or as Lee said, Mantra. I'm gonna dip an angled brush into it and just run that through my top lash line very closely to the lashes just to create a bit of definition and like a very subtle wing just to meet with this outer corner here. There's a bit of fallout with this shade, but not too much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it where it sticks like that, maybe a pinch on the outer portion of the lower lash line, just to keep it nice and smudgy. Beautiful. And then same thing here. Essentially, your daytime eye look is complete. Obviously, this is not something that everybody would wear for the daytime. Maybe it's more nighttime for some people, but if you have a daytime event to go to, and if you wanna feel like a little bit more dressed up than normal, I would say this is a really good, easy, but still amped up daytime look. I'm gonna curl my lashes real quick just to give you like a full idea of what I'm going for. Maybe a little mascara too. And now for the lips, I'm quickly going to add this uh, Rose Quartz Silk Balm, also from Huda Beauty. I love the original Silk Balm. I even included it in my previous video, the Sephora VIB sale recommendations, but this one's a little bit different. I think it has, ooh, a bit more color and a bit more reflective properties. Still very comfortable on the lips, but just a little bit more amped up than a regular balm. All right, so let me show off look number one. All right, so there you have it, look one complete. Now let's amp it up for night with some shimmery shades and maybe with that glouss. So the first thing that I'm going to do is reach for this shade here called Empowered. Because the formulation feels a little bit creamy, I'm gonna pick it up on my pinky. I actually just use my pinky to apply it exactly where I want it, which is to that outer edge, lifting this whole area up and just darkening it. I feel like that step alone just added so much sultriness to the eye. I like the fact that I added it with my pinky. It was very precise. It went exactly where I needed it to go with like minimal fallout because for a purple shade, this definitely has more fallout than I was expecting. More like a black shade, but not a problem. Let me go ahead and whisk that fallout off. It's not sticking. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab that same pencil brush that I used for Aura. I'm gonna dip that into Mantra, just a tip, and I'm gonna actually try to add a bit more shadow to that crease, which is not something that I typically do, but for this look, for some reason, I really wanna do. Just wanna darken this whole portion, add more sultriness here. I don't know, I feel like that was a really smart choice. Really like what I did there. Just gonna blend that a pinch more up like that. Back to the stiff brush for some erasing. Hmm, lovely. 
Okay, so now for the fun part, I definitely want to try out all of these fun, funky, shimmery, purpley shades. I'm talking about Cosmic Love, Blissful, Magic Moon, there are many to choose from. I'm thinking, I really was a fan of the shade Blissful. Felt really interesting to me. Also has kind of a duo chromey action. So this is definitely something that I want to add to the lid, perhaps to the center for that pop, just like that. I think Swatch Model was right. This is definitely a palette that you can go to the bar and uh, have yourself a drink with your ladies. And obviously this is appropriate for any age. It definitely has some classic colors as well as some popping avant-garde type of finishes. So anyone can get away with wearing this, in my opinion. But the sparkles really do feel very young and fun. And I like it. I really like the way that it plays up the eyes. Yeah, that was fun. For the inner corner, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that Cosmic Moon. I'm actually gonna grab it with a Huda Beauty brush. I think this one is from the Naughty Nude palette or maybe from the New Nude palette. But anyway, I'm gonna use the sponge applicator, which I hardly ever use. I'm gonna pick up some of that sparkle from the Cosmic Moon and just place that very precisely to the inner corner on top of my previous shade and just like spread that evenly across the space just for a really fun pop. That is really, really vibrant. I'm glad I did that. And then for the final touch, I'm gonna do something that I typically don't really do, but today I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab the Motives Eye Primer brush. I'm gonna reach into that Love Stone shade. I'm gonna load it up on my brush like so. And I'm gonna run that sparkle and shine through my brow bone and a bit into the temple area with my finger, just like that. So this is really lovely because it's actually similar sparkle shades as the Moon Magic shade. So it feels very cohesive, though the formula here is very different because it's in a jelly formulation, but essentially it's just a lot of sparkles in a jelly formulation. Definitely, definitely fun. To complete this look, I'm gonna grab this NARS Climax liquid liner that I love. I'm going to quickly etch out a wing just because I feel like I could use it. Okay, so unfortunately there is quite a bit of sparkly fallout from the Moon Magic and Blissful shades and they're kind of just like sitting in my pore zones here. So keep that in mind. This is probably an eyeshadow palette that if you use any of these metallic shimmery shades, you might want to do your foundation after you do your eyes. Or if you are building up your look for night from a daytime look, just keep in mind. You may want to keep like a tissue handy or like one of those shadow shields or something to keep the haul out from ruining your foundation. Although it's still really not a big deal. It's just like a little bit tedious. Eye look is stunning and the eyeshadow palette colors are really up my alley. One more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this flat brush. This one is from Dose of Colors. I'm gonna grab this shade Precious. This was a unique shade. It felt like grayed plum brown to me. I'm gonna use the shade just to push the pigment and the color into the lower lash line and also kind of like surround that wing just to make everything a little bit more oomphy. Oomphy is not a word. It is a word that I made up and I use it from time to time to express when something is extra. We're going to close out the palette. I'm thinking I need some lashes for this look and I definitely need to like get out of a t-shirt and maybe put on some jewelry just to go to the bodega, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna grab these lashes from Do Art Beauty from my friend Viosa, Viosa MUA on Instagram. This shade is called Foxy and these are just like really big and really bold and dramatic. What I'm gonna do is actually cut them in half and use just the inner half of the lash. I'm also gonna curl these. Lash glue, placing that lash exactly where I want it, gluing it down and lifting it, and boom, sweetie. Got a nice nighttime look. Now, while I wait for these lashes to dry, I think I should go ahead and uh, give you guys a verdict on this palette. Of course, it's a first impressions verdict because I haven't actually worn these eyeshadows out, but upon first impression, I gotta say, I think this palette is something that resonates not only with me, but it will definitely resonate with a lot of people. There are a lot of very wearable shades in this palette, but also something that can be amped up for night use, for going out, for something a little bit more fun. I love the fact that there are different textures in here, very unique metallics, very bright shimmery shades, something super sparkling. So a little bit of everything for everyone. Definitely enough options for the daytime here, some pinky, some lavender lilac shades that although this is a rose quartz palette like I said before to me this is more like a lilac love and that I 
actually love even more than like a rosy tone palette. So I think this is something that's going to live on my makeup table. Definitely something that I will reach for, especially if I want to go out at night. And right now we're not really like going out, going out. We're still kind of getting back into the going out swing of things. Truth be told, lately I've kind of been a one eyeshadow type of girl. And I gotta say there are enough shades in here to give you that one and done type of feeling. You can easily reach for Cosmic Love or Moon Magic or even the Love Stone for a little glossy action just to give you a little interest on your lids without doing a whole lot of blending and just a whole lot of layering. So for that, I will say I really like this palette. I'm gonna continue reaching for it. And if you've been wondering about it, if you've been wanting to see how to use it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like my take on it. So with that said, I am going to zoom on out and I'm going to invite you to check out my next couple of videos, a video that you may like or my most recent video. Hit it. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Peace. <laughs>